So Yannick Sinner and Rafael Nadal, they're facing off in the first round, the, sorry, the second round of Rome. Now Sinner this year has had a great year this year. He won a title early on in the year. He also reached the final of Miami, his first Masters 1000 final. And he reached the semifinal of Barcelona, so pretty impressive. So he's had some really great wins this year. He's really been doing well. And he's looking like he's one of the consistent next gen. He's only 19, which is pretty surprising, but he is seeming like he's pretty consistent. So that's some good form from him. And he's playing in his hometown, which is pretty cool. So it's going to be something to note. Plus, he also beat um Umber in straight at 6264. So he's really in good form now. And we're going to see, because he did challenge Rafa when they met last time. Now, Nadal is going to be looking to improve, I would say. He did win a title in Barcelona, but other than that, his clay court season hasn't been as great because he did lose early in Madrid to Zverev, and he lost early in Monte Carlo. He lost to Rublev, so he's not really in his best form right now. He's going to be hoping that maybe he can get better. He hasn't played a whole lot this year because he's trying to reduce his schedule to kind of, because he's aging, I guess, trying to reduce his schedule to help him a little more. But we're going to see, is it possible that maybe he can, can he possibly, you know, raise his level up in Rome, which has slower conditions, so it may be beneficial for him. They met once, and Nadal leads that head to head 0 0. That was in Roland Garros, and they met, and Nadal won that one in three tights at 7 6 6 4 6 1. It, it almost lasted three hours though, that match, so straight sets, but not the easiest match ever. So I think that Nadal will win. I think that he's going to be motivated to kind of put his past struggles behind him and try and do well in the upcoming event. I think that he'll be motivated for that. I think he'll want to put the past behind him. He'll want to really push for this new tournament. And I think that Rome really benefits his playing style. The slow conditions really help him. So I'm going to pick Rafa to win this. I think it's going to be three sets. Cassina has really improved a lot lately, but Rafa in three sets seems like a reasonable prediction. So Major and Sonigo, they're facing off in the second round of the Italian Open. Now Major, he's had some great runs on the clay. He did make a final last year in Rio. Lost to Garen, but did make a final, so he is really good on the clay courts. And he got his campaign in Italy, in his hometown, off to a good start with a 6-4, 6-3 win over Alex Diminar. So, great start for him. He's extremely good on the clay. He has very good strokes that translate well on the clay. And he gets to play a fellow Italian in Sonigo. And so Sonigo now just beat game on feast in three sets, 6-4, 5-7, It was a great win from Sonigo there, but people have been criticizing him for his grunting. But in my opinion, I actually like his grunts. I feel like they're a little funny to listen to sometimes. But anyways, he did, uh, they did, uh, he did have a good win. Even though my feet was struggling, still a good win from Sonigo. And now he gets to face Major in round two. And he'll be confident that maybe he can do well because he's in his hometown but so is major so he has to watch out now these fellow italians they've never met at tour level but they've met a bunch in challenger matches three of them though were in 2015 one of them was in 2014 and all of them have been on clay so extremely weird and major leads the head-to-head three one in challenger matches they met and they were all in italy so really weird major one the last meeting and the first meeting in straight sets. Sonigo won the second meeting in straight sets. And Major won the third one in three sets. So my prediction, I think that Sonigo will win. I think that while Major is playing well, I think Sonigo just has more tour level experience than his opponent. And I think that that could prove to be vital when he's playing against an opponent of his caliber. Of Sonigo's caliber. So I'm going to pick Sonigo to win this in three sets. I think it's going to be three because both of the Italians are playing well. But Sonigo should edge this one here. So Merlin Chilich and Stefano Tsitsipas are facing off in the second round of Rome. Now Chilich this year has had a decent year. I would say even well a little better than 2020. He did make the round of 16 in Miami. He also was able to do well in Singapore. He made the semis. And he also made the semis of Estoril. So pretty good uh, results from Chilich. He's not at his best on the clay, but he's shown that he can play on the clay. And he had a good win over Bilbao. He beat him in three sets. So that's some good wins for Chilich here. And he'll be confident even because he had a head to head win over City Bash. So that was a long time ago. Now, City Bash this year has been in absolute great form this year. In Barcelona, he made the final in Madrid. 
He made a round 16. Monte Carlo, he won that. He's been in really great form. He's made a lot of quarterfinals and semifinals this season and finals, and he's won a lot of titles this season. So he's been in really great form, and you will be confident because he's playing extremely well. He can beat Chilich, even though Chilich has the head-to-head -head advantage. Now, they've met once. Chilich leads 1-0. That was in Tokyo in 2017. Chilich won his straight sets. So I think that here... I think that City Press will win this. I think that even though Chilich has the head head advantage, looking at the way their careers have gone since, I think that it's the smart pick is for City Press because he's grown while well, Chilich has kind of fallen off. So I'm going to pick City Press to win this in straight sets. Chilich could offer a little resistance, but I think City Press is the smart pick. City Press is straight sets is my pick here. So then Shabavolov and Stefano Trevalier, they're facing off in the second round of the of Rome of the Italian Open. Now Shabavolov this year, has been, I would say, wildly inconsistent, but he has had some decent results so far. He did have a good run at Rome last year, so he'll be confident of his chance of maybe being able to back that up. As for this year, he did do well in Dubai in the semi, but other than that, he's not in the best of form. He has been inconsistent this year. He has had some good results, missing with imbalance, but a lot of them have been bad ones, so he's going to be hoping to improve here but on clay is not his best surface he's gonna have to be a little bit weary of that now trevalia this year started great at the beginning of the year made a final but he hasn't really done as well since he lost early in a lot of the other tournaments he played he hasn't really done as well since he made that final at the beginning of the year but he was able to not to win over benoit pair and while i wasn't maybe well while benoit pair has a reputation for tanking it's still a great win from trevalia and now he's facing Shabavalov now, who he's going to want to see. Can he maybe, can he be able to beat Shabavalov here? Can he take advantage of maybe him, him playing at home to be able to beat him? And it'll be tough, but he'll be wondering if he can do that. Now, I don't think that these two have ever met. So I think that their head-to-head -head is 0-0. Zero -zero. No, they've never met. Now, my prediction here, I think that Shapovalov will win this in straight sets. I think that while Trevalia can be good, I don't think that he's good enough to beat Shapovalov. I think that Shapovalov looks like he's playing well, and his win over Camille Marzarakat was pretty impressive. So I'm going to pick Shapovalov to win this. I think it's going to be a straight sets win. I think that Shapovalov is going to win this in straight sets.